Now let's talk about branches of statistical analysis. We have two ways in which we approach running um, statistics on our data. The first is called descriptive statistics. It's basically what it sounds like where we're choosing to describe our data. So the definition is to summarize or organize our group of numbers from our research study. So something like this would be um, looking at the data that we've collected and just summarizing them before we dive into what it all means. So for example, if I were thinking about Disneyland, I might say something like 26,323 people attended Disneyland today. Um, I might say something like 82% of last month's um, entries into Disneyland were from pass holders. So I'm just taking the numbers that I've collected in my study and I am um, describing them. We're gonna start the class off learning how to describe our data. After we've learned how to do that effectively, then we're gonna move into inferential statistics. Inferential statistics are where we're trying to make inferences or guesses as to what that all means. So now we're gonna draw conclusions that go beyond the numbers we actually collected. So if I were still trying to do some Disneyland kind of examples, I might say something like, 30% of all Americans have been to Disneyland. Now, that might sound at the outset like I'm just describing because I'm saying 30%, but do you see how it's impossible that I have measured all Americans? Um, and so what I have done is um, with my inferential statistics, I've polled people who have gone to Disneyland, who hasn't gone to Disneyland, and then I'm using that to make a larger estimate about, hmm, based on my numbers, this means that probably around 30% of all Americans have gone to Disneyland. So I'm taking my descriptive data and then I'm making an inference about what that means outside the scope of my particular study. Another example might be, um, employees at Disneyland are happy. Well, it's unlikely that I've pulled all employees and all employees are happy. So what um, this is saying is that uh, using descriptive data from a poll within um, Disneyland, uh, the employees were happy. So now I'm trying to say all employees of Disneyland are happy. So what I will be looking for you to do here is differentiate between when we're just describing the actual data we have which is descriptive statistics. And then when we're trying to make a larger conclusion or statement um, using the original data, trying to go beyond that. So I will be asking you to practice looking at the way data are presented if they are purely descriptive or if they're trying to make a statement that goes beyond just the data we've collected.